manaji kiti Tuna pa ma muniku Tuna pa ma mwadapu Atwe tuna pa ma mwadapu Tuna pa ma mwadapu Tuna pa ma mwadapu Atwe tuna pa ma mwadapu Gadeni yetu ino Matope yetu ano Tunaima nanjikiti Tunapama mwadapu Mwadapu Tunapama mwadapu Atwe Tunapama mwadapu Tunapama mwadapu Atwe Tunapama mwadapu this, this project is about um, climate smart agriculture for improved productivity so that we can uplift the livelihoods of the farmers. So the European Union supports through funding and then uh, UFF supports with technical support on how the program should be implemented. DAPP together with NNF then they are the core key implementers on the ground. And with the Minister of Agriculture, we are working with the extension workers who are based in the communities where we work. This project, and it fell in the whole strategy of support that the EU had on adaptation to climate change in rural Namibia. So it, it's, it's a program that lasted almost four years, entitled over a thousand farmers in, in the Kavango uh, East and West regions and especially, particularly, it has benefited women. The fact is, Namibia is one of the uh, sub-Saharan African countries which is most affected by climate change not only that but also variability it's just deepening each year we are forced to think out of the box and come up with strategies to mitigate and to ensure adaptation to climate change we need conservation agriculture in order to increase productivity we need these smart partnerships. Climate change is real. Um, rainfall patterns are erratic these days, and there is there is need for a mechanism that can be used by farmers to at least help them reduce the effects of climate change. In this instance, the droughts that they've been experiencing. Then you're practicing this, the three principles, which are mainly uh, minimum soil disturbance, um, crop rotation, and the use of mulching. So what this project has done is that it has brought in some elements of building resilience and facilitate climate change adaptation for the general population in, in Kavango. We've done this through both the production of vegetable through horticulture activities, and we've done it practicing conservation agriculture with their field crops. But then we have adopted the CA components into horticulture so that the farmers take it as one way of producing food, whether there's enough water or there's not so much water. So women in, in the areas where the project is working, they're in charge of the household. So from we are talking from cooking, collecting water, collecting wood, children. And then on top of that, they are the ones in charge of the production or the cultivation of their land. So they, they see that the production of, of this food throughout the year, thanks to the, what the project has, has managed to, to support, it's really having an impact on their household from, from them to being able to have access to vegetables throughout the year, so diversifying their sources of, of nutrition. Mm -hmm. 
kuiko alividi kuvura au peshi damate ali kumeho ya kurenga shivuka tereke nani tape nkondo murutu rwende tunabidi mburura luckily we have the river around us but you might realize that the river is also getting lower and lower when we don't receive enough rain but then even with horticulture we need practices where you don't just irrigate and water is you know flowing all over we need technologies where you use the little water you have efficiently the farmers are organized and they are, they are mobilized to continue but the issue is water that's when um, the idea of the solar system came in then really help the farmers to continue producing year round because then they, they are not fetching water from very far. So again, the woman has to spend less time going to the river to, to get water and, and going to the river to get water is time consuming, but there is also some risk factors. Not forget that the river has got some crocodiles there, so if they can also avoid that challenges of, of having to collect water in, in those risk areas is also positive. And in most cases, the communities that we're working with were communities that were living along the Kavango River. So you find out that agriculture is primarily the source of livelihood for them. And they are sandy soils. And you know, with farmers, they need practicality. What is it that I'm doing that will give me good results? So far, the panel is working in a good condition. Yeah, it's not that very much difficult for them to operate it. All two women we are working together with, they are quite hard working and the cooperation is going well. They've then learned to produce a lot of vegetables, which in return they practice a, a budding system that they then switch the vegetables with either millet, maize or beans. A combination of horticulture and CA, we have then realized that it, it has improved the livelihoods of the farmers because then they get some kind of income from the sales of the vegetables. So in our garden, as you see, we grow a lot of tomato. Now with this tomato, some we get them for our con own consumption in our family and uh, the rest we sell them in, the, in our village and to in the nearby villages. And the money that we are getting from it, we buy some other expenses that we need and some we can even pay to, for our, what, our children at school. In terms of impacts of the program, it's Great to see, and from me, the program manager, how the, the women that have benefited nowadays tell you that they are eating every day, and they're eating every day vegetables. Give them the knowledge that we have with Farmers Club, have produced and uh, saved many people's lives in this community. If we could not have these gardens here, people in our country or in our region, they are dying because of hunger. What I wish for is for them to realize the significant change that this project has brought into their lives, sustaining their lives through food production, and again to be able to survive under these harsh uh, climate change conditions. So my hope is that they take advantage of the investment that has been put there and continue with the same momentum of producing food so that they, there is guaranteed food security for the farmers. They have demonstrated that they, they will continue with the production and they will continue with the adoption of the conservation agriculture components.